Holocaust survivors are waging a new battle, this time to correct the wrongs of the past. Well, that's right. It's an international conflict that is being played out on U.S. soil and touching the lives of so many survivors here at home. So who's to blame for this? The answer may surprise you. Here's CBS4 Chief Investigator Michelle Gillen with the story of the Congresswoman from South Florida on the front lines. This is the U.S. government stating facts that are, that are not true. Nearly eight decades after the Holocaust, when millions of Jewish mothers, fathers, children, and grandparents were systemically tortured, gassed, exterminated, in ovens, in death camps, run by the German Nazis, a Florida congresswoman is taking to the front lines of a new battle, she says, to right old wrongs. This is an injustice right in front of our eyes. A mission to unravel secrets, family legacies buried in the ash. These people were not paid, and it's just all one big con. A con, she says, that protects foreign insurance companies, contaminates history, and bears the fingerprints of the U.S. government. It's all a, a lie built on a mirage, built on an illusion, uh, built on, on an enigma. It's, it's just a, a web of lies. Congresswoman Ileana ross Leighton has done what no other U.S. politician has been able to do. She's introduced and won committee passage of a first-of-its-kind bill that would allow American Holocaust survivors their day in court. The right to sue international insurance companies with whom Jewish families bought life and property insurance in the years leading up to the Holocaust. Every, every death... Every, every concentration camp, they made money because it's one more person who died and one more policy they did not have to pay out. So shame on them. They do have blood on their hands. An industry that if held responsible would owe survivors and their heirs what some have estimated to be 20 billion in current dollars. Some of these European insurance companies that are doing business in the United States, they're telling Holocaust survivors, oh no, we paid this out already. And when did you pay this out? Oh, it was probably you know, like on their way to Treblinka, on their way to, to all of these horrible concentration camps. Hogwash. Nobody believes that. But survivors are being told they can't sue. The U.S. courts have ruled that due to foreign policy interest of the United States, survivors are not allowed to. How is that possible? Critical eyes are now focused on ICHEC, the International Commission on Holocaust-Era Insurance Claims. It negotiated settlements with some 75 foreign insurance companies. ICHEC says those negotiations resulted in repayment of $300 million. Critics say that's just 3% of what is owed survivors. But for some survivors, there's a chilling epitaph to the commission. Former and present U.S. officials claiming that the ICHEC agreement essentially granted immunity to foreign insurance companies from any future litigation. I've never heard of people having no right to sue. What is that? That's not just not the American way. Today, the United States government is engineering a cover-up of the insurance company's behavior and blocking Holocaust survivors from going to court to recover their family legacies. Attorney Sam Dubbin has been representing Holocaust survivors, including in efforts to get the insurance companies to open up their books and reveal the policies of pre-war and wartime customers. The decisions giving the insurance companies immunity here were never agreed to, were not what the law intends. Justice has not been served. Justice has been denied to these Holocaust victims. And before they pass away, and before we don't have this legacy anymore, uh, let's do right by them. We requested comment from the Department of State on survivors essentially being barred from filing suit in U.S. courts and the proposed law to change that. The department would not respond to these hot button issues in particular. They referred us to their published position on Holocaust claims. You can find it on our website. But I am efforting interviews with the Department of State, Justice and the White House.
Michelle, what brought the Congresswoman to this issue? Well, she'll be first to tell you a trio of survivors, three men that I've covered for more than a decade, David Schechter, David Mermelstein, and Joe Sachs, not wanting to see more survivors die without the opportunity, they say, to pursue justice in court. There's a photo right there of them with the Congresswoman. They have fought for this, and in fact, the day that she introduced this legislation, Mr. Schechter there, I know tells me he fell to his knees in tears of gratitude for this first step. And I should mention that the other supporters of the legislation include Debbie Wasserman Schultz, uh, Ted Deutsch, Elsie Hastings, Senators Bill Nelson, and Marco Rubio. And you're going to stay on top of the story, that's for sure. To the end. Okay. Thanks, Thank Michelle. You, Michelle. And make sure to tune in to a very special CBS 4 News presentation this weekend. March of the Living, Return to Auschwitz. It airs Sunday at 6.30 right here on CBS 4. More bomb